a devastated family is asking why. Why was a father of two killed in a Sterling Heights trench collapse when it did not have to happen? Seven investigator Jim Kirchner getting new information for us tonight. We know that the owner of this site was going to tear down this old motel and develop it. He had to cap the water and sewer lines nine feet underground here. He pulled a city permit to do that. He was going to turn that site into offices like he did here next door. The family of the victim is getting only limited information from this owner and the city. They're just telling me that there's an open investigation. OSHA's investigating this. We tried talking with the Sterling Heights city manager after meeting with the mayor. He said no. The mayor told us the owner of this accident site is Tuma Enterprises. They work out of this house in Sterling Heights. No one answered the door this afternoon. It was Monday afternoon that Jason Holmes was suffocated when the trench he was working in collapsed on top of him. There was no trench box like this to prevent it. Some witnesses have come forward that said that there was two building inspectors on site with the owner. A Sterling Heights spokesperson tells 7 Action News city staff were in their vehicle when the accident happened, but they won't clarify when they were on the site or if they tried to shut it down. His father tells us today the owner did call him after his son's death. He gave me his condolences. He said that he tried to get down in there when it happened and the inspectors wouldn't let him, made him get out. Gerald Holmes talked with us at the funeral home where he's mourning not just the loss of his son Jason, but also his own father. A GoFundMe page has been set up for Jason's fiance Brenda and their two young kids that says this was a job for him to pick up a few extra dollars. There's no life insurance for her or the kids. It's devastating. We lose our father on Sunday <laughs> and my son on Monday. They'll continue to seek the simple answers. Why did this routine job turn deadly? In Sterling Heights, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News.